Hi everyone, welcome back to Noble Flowers. I'm Phaedra. So we are florists with a flower farm. I finally figured out how to categorize us. And we are in Northeast Victoria in the Southeastern side of Australia. Today, I'm taking you along with me. I'm gonna go into the wholesaler, pick up, um, I think probably maybe about $200 worth of flowers and then come home and make them into bouquets ready for roadside sales tonight. So I just went in. So what I do is with some businesses, I go in, switch their arrangements over, just on the spot, kind of put it together, clean up the space and then take the old flowers. Um, but when I was in there today, I saw a girl that I couldn't figure out how I knew her. And I said, oh, you look so familiar to me. And she goes, oh, okay. And I said, oh, whereabouts do you work? And she said she works at the x-ray place. And I'm like, I don't know why I've got to be so friggin' awkward. I go, oh yeah i lost my baby and you were the one that was doing the scan she's in there with her baby like <laughs> why do i have to say these things that was my fourth baby but um oh so then she felt really bad for me i'm like oh no 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 <laughs> i'm okay it was a year ago and oh why do i have to say things like that to people anyways that's my story so i'm gonna go to the wholesaler now i should be able to put yous on camera for that one. Anyway. You're not gonna believe this. The one time I'm gonna film this for you is, and I can't get a car park. <laughs> They've got their two trucks out the front and it's a really congested street, so. You're not going to say anything if I try and film this. So anyway, I'll run in and show you what I get when I get back. Got to return some buckets first. That's the dead flowers from the paper service that I went to. So let's get this going. I'm back. I got there a bit late. So I've got some chrissies, some stocks, some mini gerbras, kale, this buds, um, Kachina, I can't remember what it's called, I'll put it up. Lots of colour. And I've still got some flowers at home and all the foliage. Quick detour, I'm at Kmart. Um, I can't have James sleep in our bed anymore. He wakes me up all night long. So I cracked it this morning. And I am not going home without some kind of a solution for a bed for him. I couldn't get anything for a bed. I just want to sleep tonight. So over here, I've just got a few bits and pieces, some proteas, thryptamines, some stock, some kale, a couple of birds of paradise, but I'm not going to use them there. I don't think they're opening properly or well, they're taking forever anyway. Um, 
oh, just buds. I've got more over here. Just some different bits of foliage. This is the only chamomile I've got. I couldn't get any more. A little bit of status and some foliage. Uh, a little bit of um, diosma. And then what I picked up at the wholesaler. And then we've got wattle. And we love it. And we've got some eucalyptus. So I'm going to set up here and you can just watch me. I'm going to strip all of those flowers that I bought, <clears throat> just lay them on the table, prepare it all. And then I've got to make, I think, around 20 bouquets. I did some sunflowers yesterday. Those bunches are done. I've got to go pick some more. We still have, they still haven't been hit by frost, but we've had a lot of rain. The petals might be wrecked now. So I'll go out and check that when there's a break in the rain. Oh, and it's our first time back after having COVID. So we haven't been roadside all of last week. So fingers crossed, but it's raining, which is a pain in the butt. Oh, the leaves on these are so gorgeous. Look at it. So beautiful. Oh, and there's some more coming up. Oh, there's some more coming up. Oh, look, aren't they pretty? I just always want to keep them. Maybe I will. Um, so my dad's a hoarder and my mum's a minimalist. Me wanting to keep these leaves is uh, definitely bordering on water. I don't know why I'm doing this.
I just want to show you a little trip with wrapping. So when you get your wrap, you've got the big sheet if you fold it over into the mountains. Let me just get this on a better angle for you. All right, so you get your paper or your wrap or whatever it is. If you're wrapping a small bunch like this, you want to make small mountain peaks, you know, kind of like, and they're far apart. So when you wrap it, it's not too high. If you're wrapping a really large bunch, you want to do it the other way. So when you make your mountain peaks, you want to make them like that and a lot closer together. So there's a lot more height. Uh, let me just quickly grab a big bunch to show you. So we've got a bigger bunch and then it's going to wrap around and come up the sides a lot more. It's a lot higher. I'm not actually wrapping that, so I'm not going to finish it, but there's a little tip. So I'm doing a small bunch. Um, with the with like the clear wraps, the decorative ones, I always make them so they sit taller on the bunch and I pop them up real high. So then it pokes out the top when I do this. So then this one is a smaller bunch. So the mountain peaks are going to be further apart. It's wider and it's narrower and then you wrap it around and it looks like this then as you hold it you're going to tie it another little trick is if you tie your bows upside down they will hang better so i'll show you that on the next one I'm just batching a heap of the same because I just need to get this job done because it's one o'clock. So I've just laid them out as you just saw. I've just laid out a heap. Well, actually there's four, but you know. Um, and I'm just putting together the main flowers. Like in my head, I've already calculated this. So wholesale pricing, they're $4.00. I think they're two dollars or oh, three dollars four dollars three dollars two dollars so and then a little bit of thrift to me and i'll add some foliage um this one can't cost me more than eleven dollars wholesale because it's a 35 dollar bunch so that's how i'm kind of everything i'm doing in my head i'm calculating what was the price of each flower which i'm so used to it now i kind of just have it in my head if I forget, I have a quick look at the invoice from the wholesaler and I just divide each bunch of flowers into five because there's usually five stems in each one. And that gives me my wholesale price. So what I'll do is as I'm making them now, I'm gonna to talk, to you, talk you through um, how much I'm putting into each one. Um, for me, for us, our foliage is, it's not free because we put labor into it. Um, but we don't buy it. Every now and again, I'll buy a little bit of like spinning gum or something, but um, we put more foliage in our bunches. I just love it because it frames the flowers. Um, whereas probably florists who don't have a flower farm or don't have access to their own foliage, they have to buy their foliage. So they can't afford <laughs> to be putting too much in a bouquet. So that's probably something that sets us apart and our bunches look bigger because of that and if we were having to pay for that foliage we would definitely um be charging more for our bunches and really we're probably gonna have to put the prices up a little bit anyway we're coming to the end of the financial year and i've um, put all our detail all of our expenses and um income into a spreadsheet and we probably do need to up our prices a bit for next year but anyway i'll keep moving on this one one even, oh, I think that's a bit short. So diosma, diosma is a really, really, really nice foliage. 
because it's got little flowers on it. And if you're growing diosma, it is prolific. Like it grows very fast. Uh, there's a video a while back of us putting in, I think we put in eight diosma bushes. We'll put some more in, but there you go. That's a $35 bunch. I might put a tiny bit of the eucalyptus in just for a different color, just a touch of it. Like two little pieces just for a pop of color. I usually cut my stems before I wrap just because you've got less stem to have to work around. And then, so like I said before, this is a small bunch, you want your mountain peaks wide and a short in the middle. So it wraps around, but with this decorative one, I pull it up higher. And then, what color should I do on this one? Purple? Yeah, mm, maybe yellow. No, oh, I can't get it out. Come on. So your short mountain peaks, I mean wide mountain peaks, short in the middle. If we're going tall, we're putting those mountain peaks closer together, okay? But if we're a shorter bunch, it's wider. And I put it a little bit lower than the decorative wrap. And you wrap it around and that's done. Well, nearly. Got a wrap on, um, string on it. Okay, I'm going to show you this. All right, so get your... I should have done this in thing anyway. I've got the bunch upside down. Tie your knot and then tie your bow. And you're naturally just pulling those two little pieces to the top. It looks better on the ribbon. All these things you've got to learn when you're florist, how to tie a bow. So with these four, let me just check that I'm even on camera at the moment. I'm not actually sure. Oh yeah, I am. Okay, good. So with these four sort of like production line bunches that I'm doing, um, I can't remember what I was gonna say now. That's annoying, isn't it? Got a little bit of yellow status, which is cute. Might put it that side. Okay, so that's our main. This needs one more thing in it just to beef it out a bit. I'm going to put. I might actually put some gerberas in this one rather than using Chrissy's. Oh. What? I actually could put a. Might put a protea actually, and then I'll just do foliage because proteas are four dollars each. Put some diosma with the cute little leaves, and then the cute little flowers. I'm gonna grab some wattle for height. Where did I just went and got me that? It's cute too. I don't know what it is. Some kind of native situation. Uh, what did I say? I'm gonna pop a mini gerber in there. This bunch is now too expensive. I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna leave it, but I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've put too much in this one, but so four dollars. I'm sure they're two or three. This is um, four dollars. So four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then this. It's you know, I've made that too expensive here. But right, I'm gonna leave it. Someone will get lucky when they buy that. Oh, I should have probably left that skin a bit more, but anyway. Okay, what color should we put on this? I actually got some, like, what would you call this color? What is this color? I don't know, but I'm gonna put that on this one. I won't make many of this color because it doesn't really 
but there could be someone who wants something a little bit muted. Okay, so this bow again, pull it tight, make your loops and pull and it's done. And it hangs nicely. Sticker, business card, and we're done. I've got one more of these production line ones to do. So again, I've got a piece of stock. I wish I could remember the price on that. I've been putting it at $2. I think for a bunch of five stems of stock, it's about 10 bucks. Whoa, these are six, nine, 12. They're about $4. So I am doing this right. So $4, um, $2. I hope I've got that right. Um, a stem of status, a bunch of status is really cheap. I usually just, whatever I pick out, I just put a dollar on it. So, so far we've got four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. So we've got like three more dollars to play with. Um, I'll put some diasma in. Because like I said before, diasma. Except I didn't prep that one very well, did I? Has these cute little flowers. So it's a foliage, but it's actually adding another texture well another element another floral element to your bouquet i'm going to add a bit more fruit to me in this one if i can find a nice little piece i think it needs a bit right there okay we're going to stick one more thing in there that's around the two dollar mark um what could i use you know what i've got I've got some Chrissy and I'm going to put that right there. So this is a bit of a darker, moodier bunch. And I think what it leaves I'm going to put on this one. Sorry, someone just tried to call me. I think what leaves I'm going to put on this one is these. Because they're just going to go with that really nicely. I do have some... There, and that's it done. It doesn't look like much until it's wrapped, so let's go wrap it. I need to put a decorative piece, and I'm actually going to choose out one of these. This is like a holographic sort of thing. Oh, I forgot to cut my stems. Let me just do that because I have a hand When you're cutting your stems, if you find anything like this was up high, you need to pull it down. Everything needs to be able to get into the water. Which I'm sure you probably know, but all I'm saying is don't be afraid to pull them down. I wish I had like a dark burgundy, but I think we're going to have to go pink on this. Is it too dark? I think it is. I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to purple. Or I should say, like, it's not lavender. What is this? Like, I don't know. That's better. Makes everything pop a bit better. Okay, let me show you this bow making with a piece of ribbon. All right, so you want to tie it off, put it upside down, make your knot, and then your bow goes like that, and it's perfect. See? Put your branding on everything you do, um, and I just choose a spot where it's going to look good. Sorry, had that up a bit high. Next lot of production line, and I'm going to be doing ornamental tail. So I'm going to do four. So I've got left over there, five. I need seven more. So I'm going to do ornamental tail. So next production line. I don't normally do flowers like this, but I really want to get this done quick. Okay, so we've got kales ornamental kale i've got 
some Chrissy's left. I should have bought more, but I did not, did I? That was silly. I've got a couple of stock left. So we might do three the same and then we'll have one different one. This stock can go with this one. So what are we up to? This is a $4, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight bucks here. So there's not much more we can put in that now. We're getting to our quota. Um, I love fruit man. I will find a couple of long pieces to stick in it. So let's just say we're adding a dollar to each one there. I'll put a bigger piece on that one. Whoa. Oh, I've got one more like Chrissy. Sometimes they don't open, but I can put it in there just for... Oh, and this, where the head broke off my this bud before, what I'm gonna do, because the leaves are pretty, I'm actually gonna cut the stem out. <laughs> Can you see the color in that stem? That's because they're dyed. And I'm actually gonna use that in this one, to beef it up. So these are kind of like a bit darker moody, aren't they? All right, let's get going. And this is probably the foliage I'll, let, I'll use on each one. Let me add that in too, yeah? Let's do this properly. Well, this is real pretty. Listen to it. Sounds so cool. Okay. All right, that's nearly done. And we do have a couple of mini jabras we can pop in if we want. So let's make these up. Sorry, you can't see my head. I'm trying to film so you can see what I'm doing. So we're just putting them together. Um. You want to spiral your stems as well. So you don't want to be making bouquets where you just grab everything and stick it like that. Everything gets so crammed in and your bunch looks a lot smaller. You always want to be spiraling your stems. And the easiest way to figure that out, hold your main piece, put this one on your shoulder and come in on the angle. Turn it a touch in your hand, get the next one, come in on an angle. Turn it a touch in your hand. So that is how you, your easy way to spiral. But you, you'll eventually get the hang of that and you won't particularly need to do it exactly like that. Um, but just while you're learning, you can, this is a really crooked piece of kale. I need to go grab something. I think I'll just stick another little piece of kale in there. Okay, there we go. It's ready to wrap. Oh, actually, I think I need one more piece of foliage in that. Oh, it's getting a bit big now. It's getting a bit big. But anyway. When you're ready to wrap, make sure there's no leaves down because they are going to murk up your customer's water. And then you snip. Remember everything at the same level, pull anything down that needs to go down and we're ready to roll. I'm actually going to wrap this, I'm not going to use a deco wrap in this one, I'm going to do it with a piece of that. Piece of this and a piece of purple. You can't really see what I'm doing here. There we go. I'm just gonna give you a look at where we're up to, like what I've made so far. Okay, coming over here. Uh, these two are orders. So I've got an order tomorrow and one this afternoon. I've done 655ers along there. And then what have I got? Five, six, seven, eight, 35 so far. I need to buy more wraps, I'm nearly out. Um, cause I wish I had a deep purple, which I don't think I have, but I'm going to have a quick look. Is that ready? Time to clean.
I always pack up my space after I'm finished so then I don't have to come back and do it later. I've got to take the buckets, empty them out, wash the old the buckets that have been used. Um, I've got some rubbish for the rubbish bins. I've got to go put my compost in the bin. But otherwise, everything else is tidied up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, it's nice to be with you again. If you like this content, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like. I will see you again next week. Bye.